Hey guys, so I just got back from work and I'm gonna start cooking supper soon. But first I was just checking out Facebook and everyone's sharing a link to this news video thing <laughs> of this guy from my hometown who is apparently getting into music, I guess. He sings and plays guitar and stuff. So this guy though, I haven't seen him since he was maybe six years old or something. I never really knew him or his family, but my friend's younger brother was friends with him and so that's how I kind of knew him but I I don't I haven't seen him since he was six or seven like he's now if he's the same age as my friend's brother then he's probably just graduated high school so I was like whoa <laughs> I guess this is what he looks like nowadays but he started singing I have to just pause it and be like whoa I need to vlog this because I was like okay let's see how he sounds yeah ridiculously amazing voice so hold on let's play some of this I hope the microphone on my camera was able to do that justice, but I was like, wow, that's amazing. So that's so good for him, like someone from my tiny little hometown on the news, singing the song, some good music. So hopefully he gets pretty successful through that. That'd be pretty cool. So yay. So I'm just cooking up some quinoa and I've actually never cooked it before. So I hope it turns out okay. Um, I don't have a fine metal strainer or anything because you're supposed to rinse it real good before you cook it so I pretty much just put it in a bowl and like rubbed it and swirled it around and tried to drain as much as I could without all the quinoa going down the drain and then put more water in and kind of give it another rinse so it was really ghetto I don't know hopefully it's good enough but yeah it's pretty cool it's really really healthy for you I've never cooked it myself so yeah, it'll be interesting. And I have all kinds of veggies I'm gonna toss in. I'm gonna, once this is done cooking, I'm gonna, I will, I'm gonna start cooking the veggies in here right away, but then once this is done, I'm gonna toss it in with the veggies. I'm just kind of experiment. I might toss in some chicken broth and stuff. Not sure, but it's gonna be yummy. I just, uh, I don't know how much I'll be able to eat. I don't feel good at all right now. When I first got home from work, I was super hungry because my lunch wasn't very big. So I had a bit of yogurt. And since then, I was just like, like I just feel a bit nauseous. I'm trying to not pay too much attention to it because the more I think about it, the worse I feel. So it was just this yogurt and it's not expired or anything, not even close. So I don't know. My body just, I don't know. I don't know. So yeah, hopefully this turns out good. I've never cooked anything like this. So yeah. Also, some hair dye came in the mail. So this is the Directions hair dye in turquoise. I got two containers because as you can see they're pretty small. I'll definitely need both when I dye my hair. So yeah, those came in. I also ordered two bottles of Punky Color. Those haven't come in yet, but I'm just gonna kind of experiment with them until Special Effects gets their fishbowl back in stock. I'm just kind of playing around with other colors. So yeah, or other brands I should say. I have been using other colors, but I'm trying the different brand names so I can stay with the turquoise because the colors I've been using for the last while just I don't like them that much. Also, something weird. There's like a section of my hair on this side that's really faded and I'm so confused. I'm like, how is just that section of hair faded? And then I was thinking, like a few days ago, I was putting on deodorant and my hair got caught in my armpit because I was wearing a sleeveless shirt. My hair kind of got caught in my armpit and I got deodorant on a section of my hair. So I'm wondering if that was the piece of hair that got the deodorant on it? I don't know. But I'm just like, oh, so frustrated because now I feel like I need to dye just that little section. Driving me insane. <laughs> Get a nice close up on this quinoa. Oh, that looks tasty. <laughs> so excited. <coughs> Choking. I guess a cool option, instead of adding chicken broth after to the quinoa, I could have boiled it in chicken broth. That would have made more sense. Well, I have like this chicken stock. I don't have an actual tub of broth anymore because I use it all up, but I do have this, so I might toss some of this in there. All right, here's the outcome. Wasn't following an exact recipe, so hopefully it turns out okay. And then this is just top of a burger bun. <laughs> just We just have extra buns to use up, so yeah, here we go. So yeah, the quinoa was actually really good. I'm happy with how it turned out. I just, uh, initially what I was gonna do was make some kind of 
chicken dish, like with a whole chicken breast, and then have the quinoa stuff on the side. And also what would be good is having cut up chicken inside the quinoa thingy. So those are a couple options for the future, but we don't have any chicken breasts right now, so I didn't do that. But yeah, now I'm supposed to be scanning all my drawings for my little animation, but I still just feel kind of not good. So I'm like, you know, slack and find an excuse to not do anything and just lay around. Also need to fold all that laundry over there. <laughs> Alrighty, so I opted to scan the pictures instead of the laundry stuff. I haven't started yet, they're just chilling here. I had to package an online order, so just got finished with that. And it's already getting kind of late now. But I'm gonna scan all of these. I just realized I was kind of filming nothing. Hello. Oh, it's Rhino. And other things. No, Rhino's the important one. <laughs> anyway, what is my brain right now? I'm gonna scan all these before the night is out because I don't want to start scanning them and then scan the rest later because I'm scared I won't be consistent. And I'm curious to see how this goes because the paper the papers are too big for the scanner. I can still align one corner, but will it cut off some of the picture? I need to test the one that has a little frame on it. Where did I put that one? Oh, this one. This one's got the frame size, the outer box. I need to make sure the scanner does not cut off any of that. Ooh, that's gonna be close. It's right on the edge. <laughs> I don't like that. Maybe if I scan it this way instead. Oh okay, yeah, that's a little bit better. It's very close because the papers need to be perfectly registered, but because the paper hangs over, there's a little lip here. And so if the paper is not exactly flat against the glass, which it won't be because it's being raised right here, what happens is the top of the paper will be white and the bottom of the paper will be gray. There'll be like a gradient. So I can try to just squish down the lid, but I'm just scared that in doing so it will shift the paper ever so slightly, like half a millimeter or something, and then my pictures won't be aligned. I don't know. So hopefully it all works out well. What I really need is a bigger scanner. <laughs> So I'm already experiencing trouble scanning this. If you look at this registration hole, when I switch between pictures, it jumps. I tried rescanning, it just made it worse. What I really need is to have them on the peg bar when I'm scanning them, but there's nowhere to attach the peg bar. I can almost scan them this, though there's still no room. Oh God, it's like so. Because if I attach a peg bar here, then I can't close the lid, but I'm almost tempted to try it anyway. And then instead of closing the lid, put like a book on the picture. That might be my only option to make sure it stays properly registered. This ghetto setup. Look at all that tape. I just really like to make sure my peg bar does not budge. Yeah, no matter what I try, it's not scanning nicely. I think I'm just going to go back to my original plan of just putting the corner of the paper into the corner of the scanner. And then I might have to nudge things in Photoshop or something. But I think that's going to be the easiest way because I can't get it to scan things nice and flat so there's no weird gradients and stuff. And just it's hard to get them perfectly registered anyway. So I think, I think the best method is the first method I was using. So, oh, I've been spending so much time on this. It's 10 o'clock and I haven't had a successful scan yet. Ugh. Ugh. So sleepy. Must finish scanning. I'm scanning the third last one. Yeah, my feet have to go on it to hold the lid down fully just to make sure it scans in white and not gray. But yeah, these are the last two. I'm so sleepy. This could have been done a little bit quicker if I, like, cause I sit here waiting for it to scan. It takes a while. So I pull out my phone and I'm looking at things and then it's done scanning and I'm still just sitting there and I'm like, oh, whoops, need to put in the next paper. So I'm causing my own demise here, but it's pretty much done and I think I'm just gonna crawl straight into bed after this actually I was about to end the vlog but no I'm gonna wait till I'm done scanning them all and then I'll flip through them in the Windows picture viewer so you can kind of get a sense of what it's gonna look like it'll be slower than it actually is and the pictures won't be properly registered but I think that'll be cool so hold on I got two more to scan I'll be right back okay I'm gonna click through these it's gonna be very crude so just bear with me <gasps> It's like slow mo. Oh, oh, okay. Couldn't keep up with the clicks. No. 
no, 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 no. <laughs> yep. Nothing fancy. That's all it is. So. <laughs> Yep, so I still need to edit everything obviously, but it's all scanned in there. So that's good Just kind of wanted to be done this by now, but <laughs> well, Maybe tomorrow fingers crossed for tomorrow. <laughs> I Just want to be done with you more like I'm just excited to see the finished project Plus I have other stuff. I want to work on it's not that I'm sick of working on this. I'm just excited to work on other things and yeah, so <laughs> I guess I'm gonna go to bed now so thanks for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. So we got a little breakfast. So there's some eggs that died. I couldn't really get my spatula under them and kind of destroyed them. And there's some potato patties, some leftover sausage from last night, and then toast. We have honey and jam. Yeah. Oh, that breakfast was so good. But my thumb hurts because 